you know, I would my words to people is that if you want to be effective in critiquing the negative aspects of the hip hop culture while avoiding alienating oneself or making enemies from among that hip hop culture, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is the best example of how to do that and maintain your integrity and maintain your moral fiber. However, the minister still does it in a way where he's still able to attract these artists and they come to him in public and in private, desiring to have counsel with them. And then when the minister is, when he's, when he gets them next to them, he begins to start teaching them because as they always say, you know, look past the fault and see the need. And if you can be able to address the need, we can deal with the fault. You know, many people often boast about how Jesus was known to be with the sinners and the publicans and how he didn't condemn the sinner. He condemned the sin. Right. And I understand that even more so not from reading the Bible, but from the example of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, because he has that way of being able to condemn the behavior that has been produced in our people, but by but but not damaging our people. Right. And how does he do it? I want to give a shout out to our brother, brother Abdul Kian, because he sent me these these table talk notes some yes, years sir. ago. And this is from the minister in the, on the form, 2012, December. Listen to what the minister says, quote, when it comes to dealing with celebrities, when I send someone or so, when I send someone or someone is trying to represent me in dealing with them, that person or persons have to have my spirit. I don't seek to condemn. I seek to free people and I can free them if he said, and I can't free them if I froze them, meaning you freeze people up by condemning them instead of warming them up to be more open to our way. It takes somebody like me in the quote. Mm. Powerful, right? Yes, sir. But yes, listen sir. the minister said, he says he's he, he doesn't freeze them because he wants to free them. And who is he freeing them for? Mm. And that's the thing that we have to understand. And many of us don't want to address that, that there is a satanic control of the music industry. And go. it's the there same satanic control that controls our community. So I think about when I was reflecting on this and I think about Jesus in the scripture, he didn't, oh, when you watch these movies, the exorcist movies, there's one that's on YouTube, not on YouTube, on Netflix now called The Pope's Exorcist. Okay. But one of the common themes in these movies, when they go to cast out the demon, they don't attack the person that's, addressed, that's possessed by the demon. They attack the demon and they realize that it's the demon inside of this person that is causing them to act like that. So we have a hip hop, we have a, we have a industry that rewards that type of behavior, right?